All right, guys, man. Sean Daly's had way too much fire on his butt. He's getting all wired up, and we can keep him <laughs> another five minutes. Anyhow, so unfortunately, then it just cuts off. But here we got a question that he's all passionate about. So I'm going to introduce the question and get out of the way. Question number eight. Why is Yelp suppressing all these positive, legitimate reviews from our customers? Uh, okay, so this is the bane of so many businesses' existences, and it's a pain. Yelp is a pain. They're the biggest pain. There's everybody else, and there's Yelp, and it's a real problem. It's a problem for your customers, which is something for you to help solve. Don't overpromise because it isn't easy. But the problem is Yelp. Deal with it. They. I, I have very strong opinions about Yelp. They suppress. I, I don't know what kind of algorithm they're using. I call it the random algorithm. I, I don't believe in And I have seen uh, anecdotally where businesses have been paying Yelp and then stop paying and suddenly reviews that were formerly positive suppressed. I, you know, and I'm not saying anything. I'm not drawing any lines there. I'm just saying I've seen this. It's a pain. All you can do is at, a, at an even greater quantity than you have to do on Google or other sites is get as many positive reviews as possible. And again, like we've said in the other fact videos, talking about you know responding to the reviews very very important. There's a nice facility to do it on Yelp, especially if you obviously claim the listing and on biz.yelp.com. But Yelp Yelp's a pain, and the and the problem is that um, you can't cancel the account. You uh, you you can't. Uh, they're very notoriously difficult on the customer service side to get them to talk to you, um, especially if you're not a paying customer. Customer, they fairly, they pretty much ignore you. I have sent hundreds of emails to Yelp. Most of them are ignored. Uh, I've, the only time I got to talk to them was when I had a customer who was paying. Oh, coincidence, I don't know. But uh, it, it, yeah, Yelp's a pain. How about you, Jerome? What's your experience with them? I don't like them. That's it. You just like them? I don't like them. Oh, you don't like them, yeah. I was going to say, really? Wow. No, uh, I don't. Yeah. And I don't have anything to say about it besides to get on my nerves to get a stupid as algorithm. I don't know why Google even wanted to buy him out because that's just stupid. Their stuff is not working. It's annoying. It gets in the way of everything. Real reviews are being uh, filtered. Fake reviews are being uh, broadcasted. It's just the whole thing is just dumb. I played around, made some tests, and nothing comes out right on this deal. And um, like you said, random algorithm. I just got a stupid algorithm. And I think the guy behind there is just drunk and he doesn't do what he, doesn't know what he's doing. They probably have a. You no, know, sometimes when I'm on Skype, one of my cats is, is stepping on the on the keyboard and sends some crazy messages to whoever's on the on on my whoever's window is on there. And they say, Hey, Jerome, what's wrong? Are you okay? What What are you trying to say? I don't get you. And all this, he's just a bunch of Z's and W's and F's, just like 50 F's in a row, you know. And I think they have a cat. <laughs> or a dog at Yelp, probably a dog because uh, dogs are stupid, in my opinion. <laughs> it's an opinion that I share myself, and I'm not uh, schizophrenic, so I'm going to have to agree with it. I don't like dogs, so everybody who is a dog lover, I apologize to you. But in the meantime, what happens, their stuff is stupid. I think they got a dog, a dog that jumps on their keyboard and just randomly creates a new algorithm every so often because I it does not make sense. It just ruins the reputation of some businesses because positive reviews of people that are ecstatic about the real business, great food, and we love the atmosphere, and they sometimes they go into those long essay of a of a, of a how you call that of a review, and these get bu busted out, and you know so it doesn't make any sense. It's just really frustrating, and uh, I'm turning red like a beat. My blood pressure is going up. I'm not happy. I don't like it. And uh, if if it was possible to stay away from Yelp, stay away from Yelp. What I recommend is actually. Keep an eye on Yelp and, and uh, monitor any reviews that goes in there. Don't add any reviews to Yelp. That's what I recommend. If you see somebody saying there's something negative, reply to it as much as possible, as smoothly and nice as possible. If natural reviews get in there, keep them in there. Don't add any more to it. Just rank insider pages. Rank Kudzu. Rank any of the other guys and stay away from Yelp. That's what I recommend. Yeah, and I get that recommendation based on the experience. And I mean, I've seen I've seen Yelp put businesses out of business literally um, fr from this issue. And I've seen things like you know three positive reviews or three reviews, not necessarily positive, thirty eight filtered reviews. And I'm not talking about yeah. somebody hiring an SEO with fake reviews. I'm talking just complete, just dr draconian level suppression. And uh, yeah, it's a mystery. So, but you know, there's an opportunity in it too. I mean, I appreciate you, what you said. It's another perspective as far as like avoid it. The other thing is that if you have a business that's already having a challenge with it, it's a real opportunity for you to try to help them. Just know that you're going into war against a formidable. Yeah, that opponent. is a real war. We got only a few seconds to finish that, but you know, if you get in there, if you're not ready for it, don't get in there. That's my advice. Okay, we're finishing on this one, and move on to the next question. I got hot on this one. 